Hello my YouTube world, Johnny Mo coming to you today with my 2020 setup. Hello my YouTube world, Johnny Mo coming to you today with my 2020 setup. Right off the rip, this is what we're running with. We're running with the Ford F250. This is my second year with it. It's one year old. Uh, as of right now, I have no issues with this truck. The only issues I have, I explained in the past, is it sits really high up. So getting up to this bumper is a little bit difficult. And I'm six foot two, so me getting up into there, it's nice having the trailer, but when you don't have the trailer, it's tough to get up in there. Uh, so that's the only thing uh, as of right now that I have uh, an issue with. The power's there. It went through. Uh, it went through the plow season very well. I did notice it was a little longer than my GNC, and, and, and in some tight spaces were some issues. Also, those mirrors out there that they are pushed out a little bit. I, I was hitting some things that I usually didn't hit, so I had to actually pull those in when I was plowing through uh, bank drive-throughs, which I never had to do that before. Other than that, everything's cool. Uh, I would suggest it. It's very heavily built. I mean, look at the springs. Look at those helper springs. Look at that. It just, it's heavily built. Very, very nice truck. Uh, obviously, you've seen this yesterday. This is the uh, CarMate 7x16 trailer. Uh, I love it. I have no issues with it at all. Uh, if you want more information on it, you can definitely check out the video from yesterday so we're just going to step up in here and we're going to come so we have the milwaukee fuel head trimmers i have two of those uh, right up there is my steel uh, pb100 uh, that's for pruning the cherry trees and, and different things for longer reach this is my fuel milwaukee fuel blower i definitely love that that replaces the fuel uh, fuel and oil mix Right down here are my my uh, fuel works gas cans. This is my 50 to one mix. This is my, um, these two will be my five gallon cans. Uh, here's the box of tools that I carry. I have all essential tools, cheap Harbor Freight tools. There's nothing expensive in there. Uh, just wrenches and things that I may need to wrench on a mower real quick and get going. Uh, here is new to us. Um, this is, this is the steel BR 700. Uh, you may ask why I didn't buy another 800 is because I like the way this blows shrub clippings out of beds. Um, less CFM, I mean, has high CFM 9, 912, less miles per hour. That miles per hour blows mulch and, and rocks out of the bed. This is perfect for blowing stuff out of the beds. Uh, this will be my summer blower. My leaf blower will be my uh, BR 800. I still have it. I love that blower. It's comfortable. And it, this would be a great backup for leaves. I won't be missing that much. It, it does still have 912 CFM. It is not as powerful as the 800, but it is powerful enough to do what I need it to do. Also, the Toro Time Master. We're back again. Uh, this one here has been fully gone over. It's oil's been changed. Blade sharpened. She's ready to go. So we have the 94R. This is a spare 94R, and I'll show you why. That's a steel 94R. I put uh, non-ethanol uh, fuel mix in there, and uh, that will be an extra, and I'll show you why that is an extra here in just a few moments. Right here is my only mower at this time, the Ferris F210Z. I bought this at the end of the year last year. I sold the other Ferris. Uh, there's a reason behind that. I'm sure we'll get into that in a little bit later here, about a month or two. You will probably see some, some new stuff sitting in the trailer. So <clears throat> this is my F210. This is what I'm starting the year out. It has the bagger unit on it for spring and fall cleanups. That will be coming off after my first two weeks. Right here is my little giant ladder. I just got some ladder hooks. I station that to the wall. Up there is my... That's all the attachments for the Milwaukee fuel. It has the hedge trimmer, articulating hedge. It has um, pull pruners. And it has the extension up there. You can see the, the pole saw right there. That is my Milwaukee fuel uh, chainsaw. That's in case I have to chainsaw something up real quick. And I really like this Milwaukee fuel line, especially with this battery situation. 
Uh, it just makes everything easier. I do not have to worry about, the only thing I have to do to that is make sure it's bar oil on it and the chain is sharp, that's it. So I'm very excited about that, getting rid of all this two cycle equipment. So this is new to me this year, here we go. This is the Milwaukee Fuel Trimmer Line. I played around with this last year. I've played around with it a little bit last year. Uh, I did a couple yards with it. I, I think it's gonna work out, but I'm not sure. So my plan are, these are eight amp hour batteries. I got these off Amazon. I got three or four of these. So um, unfortunately, um, my Milwaukee Fuel Blower, um, got stolen with a nine amp hour on it. I don't know, you know, where I left it or how it got picked off. I just know it got picked off and it had a nine amp hour battery on it. I am sure, you know, all those stealing is, is definitely not, not cool with that, but I'm sure I left it somewhere and someone just picked it up and took it, which was dumb on my part. So kind of my fault there for not being more uh, smart about it. So I lost a nine amp hour. So I bought a couple more eight amp hour, supposedly better batteries. I have no idea yet. So my plan is to rotate these every other lawn. Every other lawn, I'm going to rotate these. So this this will do a lawn, the next lawn this will do. My plan is when I come home at the end of the day is to take both these batteries, go charge them, pick them up in the morning and bring them back in. I do have extra batteries on board in case they do go dead. Now, if, it, if, if I can only get like two yards out of each, well then it's not worth it. But if I can get through a day and not have to worry about fuel fuel issues ethanol plugs carburetors the whole nine this is the way i'm going to go so as you can see uh, it's a nice little setup uh, i believe this is going to work i also put up put a max max air vent up here up here over the mower so that engine when it gets hot that means the air can that it can escape there so i'm excited about that uh, i already feel more air moving through this trailer already so there's actual air moving through it. So I, I think that's going to be a good thing. Uh, I get this question a lot. What is my favorite trimmer line? This is it right here. This is it. This is my favorite trimmer line. I've tried a lot. This is a 0 0.80. Um, this is by Gator Magnum. It's square with a little thing in there. It's 0 0.80. It's very light. It's very powerful and very durable. To me, I've tried all of them. This is the best trimmer line that you can that you can get. It's Magnum Gator Line, square with the uh, gray kind. It's great. It's, uh, it's hard to order. It's hard to find, but yeah, I think it's tw the part number is twenty two point zero eight zero. I think that's I think that is the part number for this. It's very hard to find. So this is my favorite trimmer line. It lasts a while. It, it slices. It dices and it's lighter um, so that's my favorite trimmer line now that we're done with the trailer these are assortment of tools i have rakes i have shovels i have edging shovels i have you know brooms um, some hard rakes some more pruning stuff over there and obviously i have the uh, the bucket for trash and I think everyone knows what that is right there. That's a necessity. You have to have that um, if you have an enclosed trailer. Also, this is uh, my steel hedge trimmer blade cleaner. Uh, I spray mine after every use to try to keep the blades clean. So that's it for the trailer. Let's head on in to the garage and see what we have left here. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Comment if you're still watching. Uh, right here is my push spreader. This is an Anderson. I believe it's a 2200. Very good push push spreader. Uh, absolutely love it. That's how I got started. And uh, just a really, really awesome, awesome push spreader. Here is my, uh, my ground logic. Uh, it's my fertilizer buggy. It is ready to go. Everything's maintenance on it. I'm just waiting to go. I'm having a little trouble getting fertilizer right now because of this this uh, this uh, pandemic we are under. But right now, this is my little ground logic. It has like 50 hours on it. Um, have any questions about it? I can answer it uh, in the comments section. But I absolutely love this buggy. I would definitely buy another one. Very intuitive, very easy to use, just an awesome buggy. This is my steel, this is how I clean up rock 
hedge clippings out of rock is I use that right there. It's just that little sucker and you tap on the ground. I got some videos on that and uh, really easy. Sorry guys, lost connection there. So just to finish up, there's the ground logic. There is the steel uh, sucker that I use. That is the backup. If that one ever goes bad, I have a backup one. And then here's my BR-800. Uh, it's being waited to be worked on. I'm going to do a complete overhaul on that. Valves, um, fuel filter, air filter, spark plug. So that's about it. There's my backup blower. Uh, it's Milwaukee fuel. Got some batteries. Obviously got Milwaukee. And finally, there's RBG 712 for the blade sharpening. And this is my backup uh, Time Master, which I use to cut my own lawn with. And I think we've left off on the blades. This is where I store all my blades. Those are my summer blades. Those are my fall and spring blades. And those are my uh, fall leaf, leaf cleaning blades. Those are the, the mulchers. And there's my old setup. This is how I used to do, um, this is how I used to sharpen blades. I'd put them in there and I'd sharpen it there. I just fasten that to the wall. But then I got my rbg 712 so guys that's my time hope you enjoyed the video any questions go in the comment section have a great year i hope it's your best year and i pray that this ends very very soon so you guys can get back to work and we can get back to work and get back to doing what we love to do